So we are halfway stage in the mother of all cricketing events in 2023. We of course the 2023 men's ICC ODI World Cup. I'm Dev Tyagi and I couldn't be more excited. I hope the way you are about what's about to happen in tomorrow's game. I want to first begin this video by thanking Anwar Hura and the wonderful Selfie Times for giving me a chance to speak as an expert, cliche than, than it may be. I'm a cricket journalist and a podcaster and uh, I'm the co-founder of Cricket Chronicle and Correct Point. They like to share some insights and some views about what is supposed to hopefully be a mega clash tomorrow between England and India. I know, the moment I say the word mega, you would say, okay, no, so India is actually the mega team and not so much England but well you never know you don't want to take the team lightly which uh, was competing and actually outplacing everybody left right centre when it came to 2019 the campaign of course in Her Majesty's Kingdom although this year there's been nothing majestic about the cricket team from Her Majesty's Kingdom um, speaking of the alphabet M which is also the first alphabet of one of the world's greatest spy agencies um, the biggest uh, Mental battle in tomorrow's game, in the 50 over game that is, could be between the pace battery of England and Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma. Because of course when you have Mark Wood, the end, you got it, in great form. And having English team and his teammates of course with the back against not Dravid but the wall, you know, in that sense of the word. You just can expect that they are going to come very hard at India. They would want to come very hard. Um, at a batting powerhouse that the Indian team is and I'm talking about Rohit Sharma, I'm talking about Virat Kohli of course, KL Rahul, Shreya Sayer and should Jadeja fire the runs as he so beautifully did in that vital contest against New Zealand who knows what kind of an exciting contest we may have on our hands having said that, do India really enter the game as this one-sided favourite team? probably on paper, probably in the eventual result as well because well we want to say may the force be with India and the force is actually with India as we speak. But will England actually make things that easy? Yes, Joe Root is under pressure. Yes, Josh Butler has seen better days in the past. And of course, David Malan is nowhere the batsman that he was when he scored that brilliant 140. But anything can happen. Cricket is a game and I've said it many times earlier as well. Which is, it's a sport which is hardwired in the now. It's a sport which tells you what's going to happen on that present day sparing ever so little for what really happened in the immediate or the recent past. So it's a brand new day, it's going to be a mega battle. Lucknow will be thriving and of course it's Sunday, it's afternoon. Those who will be in London would have uh, finished their breakfast or probably their brunch. But uh, now in India, we'll be getting up for this mega battle. May the best team win and may that not be Mark Wood's unit even as so many English people's hearts will be broken.